Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie Oni coming to you from the banks of the Trinity River here near Willow Creek, California. Oz and I welcome you to the studio. I've just got a little breeze in here all of a sudden. This is today's Build-A-Doodle. Isn't it fun? Now the inspiration that I took this from was just a black and white and I decided I wanted to put it in a little bit more of an environment. You don't have to do it, you can do it however you want to do it. Um, if this picture doesn't inspire you, then just go on Pinterest and find another image that you get inspired by. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. That is perfectly okay. Um, I did love how this one turned out. It is very um, simple as far as the lines and the work goes. I am using some different products here. I am using... Um, I'm, I got some Neo colors, and so you'll see me play with those. And then I also did get some Dewar Ink Tense Do Do Weren't Do uh, Do Weren't Do Rent <laughs> Ink Tense. Uh, these are a water soluble pencil, uh, ink pencils. It's kind of fun. Um, I'll put links for these down in the comments. Um, they, they're great to play with, and that's what we're doing. We're experimenting with different products. We're experimenting with different lines. We're, we're making all sorts of cool things, and I hope you like it. Uh, please be sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think. Um, and I definitely want to see it over at Messy Hand Band of Artists over on Facebook. Um, if you can add this to a playlist, it is incredibly helpful. Your comments count, your likes count, your adding to playlist count, all of it is important. It truly is. Um, I do need your support. Um, if you can afford to do it, I would highly appreciate it. I do fully understand that not everybody can. Um, Patreon is $10 a month, or we do have an, an elevated tier of $25 a month. With that elevated tier, you do get to have a conversation with me every month, and I love it because I get to meet you and talk with you and see what you're doing one-on-one, -on -one, and that is very exciting for me. Okay, everybody, I hope you have a great day, and we will chat soon. Bye. Hello, artists. Okay, Tuesday's Build a Doodle. So we're building off of all those flower shapes that we did last week, and um, we are going to do some cool stuff this week yay you know i was just gonna do the friday project as a build but then it's like this is um you know a really good opportunity for us to just kind of take some time and play with our watercolors or our other materials which we'll pull out here coming up in the next couple days so this is a wet on wet technique um, i put down a little bit of water first, and now I'm just putting in a sky. This is my inspiration, right? If we're gonna bring in a little bit of yellow up in there. That's because skies are kind of a greeny yellow. I, I want kind of that, well, I like to have, well, how, how can I say it? I don't want a green sky necessarily, but I wanna have a feeling of the vegetation behind there and um, that's going to be cool. And here we're just going to bring in some more of that. Um, we're just dropping in some drops. It makes a mess. You know, try not to have your book sitting on your table while you're doing it. We're just doing some little tiny drops of color in here. See how that paint just completely absorbed into the brush. Just like that. There we go. And we're also going to put down a little bit more into this water. We're just trying to add a little bit of variety. And let's uh, let's see what we can do down here. We're creating a shoreline. Nice saturated color up top here. And we do want to actually bring in kind of, um, let's see, what is going to be the right color in here? Um, that's the ochre and the, the, yeah. So if this is kind of a pond, it's not going to have a crystal clear blue feel to it. So that's why I just kind of dropped in those other colors a little bit. And when I, 
when I brush off my brush like that, I'm taking out the liquid. And, all right, let's pull this over here. Actually, we got some cool stuff going on here. Let's, let's let that liquid play for a second. In fact, we're gonna add one more stripe of blue in there and see what we can do. Because we also kind of want to make some uh, reflection colors and such too. And the yellow will bring in the, a little bit of the sky. I like that. Let's see what happens here. If we, It's pretty wet. Make it wetter. Let's see here. Get that moving back over into there. So let's find a good ground color. I've just got some green and some of the ochre and some of the brown. We're gonna pull in actually a darker color than that. I just want it to all kind of blend together here. There's a nice dark rich color. Ultramarine and um, burnt umber, raw umber, mm, burnt sienna. Oh. <laughs> trying, it's early. It's early, guys. I'm trying to do this when it's far too early. Okay, we're gonna bring in a nice dark patch of color there. And we do want to delineate this water. Let's, I like that uh, blue that's right in there. So let's kind of accentuate that a little. So now that wash seems really light, doesn't it? So don't worry if you don't get this exactly right the first time. There is nothing that says this is right or wrong. I don't even know if what I'm doing is right or wrong. They're just little sketches. How fun is that? All right, I'm gonna let that dry. Actually, let's see what we can do with the Neo colors. Um, I'm, I'm a little hesitant to use them because it, it doesn't dissolve quite as much as I thought it would, but uh, let's see what we can get out of this. Now, we're just using little scribbles. Okay, we're not using anything too big, too tough, too scary, it's just simply Making a horizon. Which our uh, horizon line is in the water. Oh. Let's see. Can we mix these two together? Oh, that makes a nice dark color. So remember, here's our inspiration. So that's perfect. Love that, okay. Let's see what happens here if we bring in just a touch of white. That's probably the wrong choice to do. Oh, I like it. Okay, okay, now what? 
Um, now, see how those, I love those thin lines. So I could do these with the pen, which I think would look great. I'm just wondering if I can do them with this instead. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's look at one other option. All right, these are the Derwent Ink Tents. Now, you can do this with your pens. I'm just playing with some different mediums because I have them here and I haven't used them yet. And I think it's cool to have fun new things to try. Because this is how we learn about our tools. And we're gonna vary the sizes, the heights. Now these are a watercolor pencil, or a, a, a water soluble pencil. So if you don't have the ink tents, don't worry about it. That's not important. Use what you have. I do wonder about the water soluble part. Let's, I'm dipping it in water, just a touch. Yeah, just a touch. And what I'm just doing is loosening up the lead a little bit. We're going to go through, dip that. very fun. Okay. This is a bluer green. It also is a little bit more vivid, more intense color, even though you would think that the yellow green would, would be more intense. It's not showing up as much. Um, a reference photo. Oh, okay. So they have different different things happening there. It is kind of fun though. We're gonna just put some extra little lines. It's just lines, guys. Let's give those pencil marks a little happy home. Let's pull in some other colors here. This pink is beautiful. You see how we're just still doodling? darker red. What I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to come back in with this paintbrush and see what we can do here. 
just going to soften these little spots of color. Or see if we can. It's my intention. I think it's very sweet. I do like it. Um, other things that I could do right now to this is I could go back through with a gel pen and um, put these, you know, I could do more of this feeling. I just don't know if I want to. I, I just, I don't know. I think I kind of like it the way it is. And here I'm just kind of playing with the reflection feel. Doing it very softly, coming down from the center. I think that that is just fine, just like that. And so we've taken our inspiration, we haven't copied, but we've played and experimented with a couple different types of products using our mixed media, um, our watercolors. Now you don't have to have all these different products. Remember guys, just go through and, and do it with the pen. I think it would look really cool with that really stark uh, pen work against this background, so. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll chat soon. Bye. Okay. So I am going to do this here. I like that. And let's do, this is a felt tip. It's hmm. a nice pen. Dylan must be here. I do like that better, just like that. Okay, all right, bye. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs>